How to connect domain to GoDaddy website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to link your GoDaddy website to a domain that you have bought from GoDaddy. So the process is going to be an internal process. You're not going to need any other platform aside from GoDaddy because it is going to be uh, the platform that will provide you with the website builder which is going to be the GoDaddy website builder and also the domain that you are going to buy. Basically, it is not going to be possible to have an external platform like Namecheap or Hostinger to have a domain in here, but you can go ahead and transfer your domain. So we are going to start by setting up our website and then we are going to set up the domain. So. Now, what are we going to do is to head over to godaddy.com, sign in for an account, and then you're going to see the websites and hosting in here. Click on Website Builder, and you're going to see your account. Once you have signed in into your account, you're going to visit your products. Once you have visited the products, obviously, we are going to head over the websites. So I have already uh, some websites, but I'm going to start from the beginning, so you're going to see everything in order. So we are going to set up a free website. Then we are going to head over the website builder. Now, what are we going to do is to select the feature that we want to or we need into our website. Either it is going to be selling an online store with an online store or booking an appointment or something else. So we are going to head over here and set up the selling. Now, what is the category that you're going to use? For example, here we have photography, life coaching, spa, and etc. So maybe you're going to type in clothing. When you finish setting up your store, as you can see, or your website, you're going to have it like this. Now, what are we going to do is to make sure that we have updated the website or put some of the sections that we need into our website, and then you're going to see them right there. Now, aside from that, you're going to head over here and make sure that you're going to see, as you can see at the top, the URL or the uh, website subdomain that GoDaddy has given you. So in order to add a custom domain or another domain or connect your domain into this specific area or this specific website, you're going to click on add a custom domain. Click on the custom domain like that, and then you're going to have to select a new plan. And this is going to be a paid plan, not a free plan. So you're going to click on select a plan. Now, what are we going to do is to see the list of the plans that we have, and we are going to select one of them. So you can choose the build yearly or the build monthly. And after that, when you have added to the card the plan and you have paid it, you can go ahead and add a custom domain. For example, you're going to put a domain into your website. But here, this is going to be only the first step. You can add a custom domain by adding the plan that you have bought. And after that, you're going to head over the domains that you have bought, of course, and you're going to connect them. So you're going to see the domains that you have bought. For example, we are going to type in, for example, Jack, for example, XYZ. You're going to search for it. If you find it or you find the availability of the domain is going to be here, you're going to make it yours like that, for example. And then you're going to have it into your court. After that, you're going to link it to your website with just setting up here the website link. When you have finished everything on the uh, domains and also everything, you can go ahead and not only connect one domain, but a lot of domains to different websites. For example, if you have only, or not only one website, you have here a lot of websites, you're going to select the next website that you want to add this uh, specific domain to. Then you're going to click on find a new domain, type in the name of that domain, for example, here, testjack.com. Then you're going to uh, search for it. After that, you're going to click on edit website. So 
as you can see we are going to have this domain for example i can go ahead and have it into my cart buy it and then we are going to link it to our website by heading over here getting back i mean by that then you're going to click on edit website and you're going to wait for the website editor to load up so the process is going to be very simple so as you can see this is a subdomain or a domain from godaddy if you have this subdomain as you can see set up and you want to add a domain or a custom domain or any domain that you have bought from godaddy click on add a custom domain again then you're not going to be uh, going anywhere without buying the plan this is the second time that i repeat the plan it is going to be crucial to have this in here aside from that do not forget that it is going to be a fully automated process when you are going to add a custom domain to this specific link you're going to change it from here only so it is going to be uh, an internal process nothing is going to be complicated aside from that you're going to see that we have also this option to connect the domain in here so you're going to click on connect domain on the settings so for example you are going to head over settings you're going to see that your website is published click on connect domain but here do not forget to unpublish your website first then you're going to connect your domain because if you're going to work with that when it is going to be published you're going to get the uh, visitors to the wrong website or they are going to see the 404 error or the 303 error also so you need to publish your website click on connect buy your plan then you're going to have everything in stead so when you finish publish your website normally and you're going to get your new link for example here jacks electronics only for example without the nine dot godaddysites.com so we are going to have jack electronics.com for example as this is so we are going to view your website and you're going to get your domain so basically uh, making or creating a domain into your godaddy website builder is going to be a little bit everywhere so when you are going to publish your website you're going to see that you need to upgrade to connect a custom domain and when you are going basically to head over here the website editor the add a custom domain is going to be through your head by um, getting into the header and not moving around and when you are going to see the settings also you are going to get the sign of connecting a domain so basically they want you to buy a domain so you are going to make it professional and they are right so the domain as you can see as a subdomain in here is going to be a hard domain to remember or a long url to remember but when you are going to make it simplified by for example having only this part of the domain.com uh, only like that it is going to be very easy for the users to uh, remember it and visit it everywhere basically that was pretty much it for today's video do not forget to set up your own domain and also buy your plan and uh, the final step is going to be modifying your website as much as you want and after you have set that you can go ahead and go live with your website by publishing the modification that you have made for example if you're going to add a section into your website do not forget to unpublish your website first or make it available and from here you're going to make the adjustments needed into your website and after that you're going to make it public basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one